so a few weeks ago I took delivery of this new product with its cleverly designed box CB Go M Mini Midland which comes with what looks to be a joke antenna called an LC29 we'll have to do a test on that and see if we can get a quarter of a mile on it so it comes in this nifty package and supposedly everything you need and so we will open this up and we'll take it over to the bench because I'm on Mr Chippy's bench here and we will service it so first of all just take it out of its package and there we are with it out of the packet it also comes with a thing about the aerial and a leaflet about how many countries it works in and I will just oh we start off with Italian ah oh, second language is English so I will just quickly see how we set it for UK changing the CB standard switch off the radio it's off press the AF button and then switch on the radio so that's that that one there switch it on the display which shows your current frequencies press up and down to choose the desired that's up and down on the mic to the desired set of frequencies and then power off and on again so AF switch it on at the same time up and down with the mic switch it off switch it back on again and it should be on the channels so we'll go over to the workbench and we'll see whether that works okay I'm back on the workbench number three and so we've taken the Torx T6 screws out of the bottom which is the teeny weeny ones and the loudspeaker is on a plug and socket which is handy so I'm expecting this to be the same as the any tone and I've got my notes here for that and there's quite a difference so is it like the Albrecht A6199 no Oh, right, I better make a, a little plan out and uh, study how it works. Okay, I'm back to record. So I've done myself a little chart of what there is, and there isn't a lot. There's no coils which are adjustable, there's no detector to adjust, and the um, S meter, which the radio says it has, um, doesn't have an adjustment. So as I see it, we have the crystal trimmer through that hole uh, to get that, the thing onto frequency the VCO we have AM modulation we've got that pesky camera playing that game we've got in the middle the 4 watt setting and at the bottom the 1 watt setting some countries have got a low power requirement I think Germany is one of them and then deviation will be that one over there so, on the front of this radio, as I read the instructions, you've got our accessory uh, socket, and it allegedly takes Bluetooth and things like that. So, not something I'll be having a play with today. So, gone are the days when I could do a transmit video, a receive video, and all that, because there's so little to adjust, we can cover it all in one. So, transmit. I'm on channel 20. Well, I was. I was uh, I've gone and... There we go. Channel 20. And we're looking at what on transmit? We are looking at just under 3 watts. 
So if we adjust the center one, which is the four watt setting, managed to coax three and a half watts out of it. Good. So our deviation. So we'll just to set the meter. I was doing that handheld last and that was channel 14. <laughs> Wallow. Right, to get the tuner thing. Oh great. Okay, so we've got a flat battery on that. Pause the video. Right, we'll try again with a new battery. So at the moment we're getting 1.4 deviation. No, that's over the top. <whistles> Wallow. There we are. Just peaking at 2.5 there. So that's power, that's deviation. There's nothing else to do. That's it. That's all you can do. So all we can do is check the performance of receive. And just make sure the signal generator is on the right frequency. So we're looking at 2779125. So that's. Three microvolts. And as you can see, it does have a. Oh, well, let's see where S9 is on it. Well, that's why I expect S9 to be. In actual fact, it's 300 microvolts on this radio, so it's a bit what you'd call lazy, isn't it? Just making sure I'm not in any wrong mode. No, we're definitely correct. The squash is a bit vicious. So we've got RF gain. Ah. So is that up down on the mic? It is. So gills round. Quite sure how these work. I might have to look at the instructions. So is that attenuated? Yeah, 
that's now as deaf as a post. So it's the up and down controls. So six is the most powerful setting. Now we need to defeat the squelch or also the sensitivity of the squelch. You've only got a few seconds to set these in, so it's using the up-down controls on the mic. Let's drop the squelch down. Ah, so A1. And presumably through to yeah, A9, so that'll be a strong squelch. Let's just see how that works out. Well, that's coming in at one microvolt, so that surprises me. Perhaps I've got this the wrong way around. No, that's uh, one microvolt. Doesn't look like you can defeat the squad. Oh, you can. See what? We can't get any better than 0.7 of a microvolt before it goes internally noisy. That's not that brilliant. And the older sets will do 0.3 microvolts, which is there, but this won't. And that sets, we've got um, A stroke, alternative frequency, I presume that is, whatever. Uh, we can select between CE or UK, which I've got it on UK. Got the emergency button there, which does 919 and then back to normal. So RF gain to what you've set it to, and that's up down on the mic as I showed. And uh, then take that off, and then squelch. If you hold it, it uh, defeats the squelch. Or puts it into your preset settings more like, yeah. So it's typical of new digital sets, isn't it, that? Or menu driven. So whilst you're driving, you just can't be adjusting things like that. But lots of internally generated noise. Right, I'll put it back together. And when Mr. Chippy comes at the weekend, we'll go for a, a drive on our usual little test route and see how it performs. So we are all back together. So it's transmitting as it's supposed to. <whistles> wallow, doing, wallow, doing the deviation. Doing, uh, say, just about 3.6 watts on the power meter I didn't have to change the frequency but it's on frequency but I did show you it was in that little hole through the front board which was just inside there for the frequency um, and I've gone through these presets with you the squelch the way they've got it set on their preset is uh, quite strong. So there you have it. The uh, they're the only adjustments on the Midland CB Go. Thank you for watching.